Hi, my name is Russell and I'm a librarian at the University of Alabama. Today we're learning how to create customized reports in Vivex, a database that allows users to see advertising expenditure by brand and other variables across 18 media types in national and local media markets. To get to it, start at lib.ua.edu and click on the databases link. Then search for or browse to Vivex. From the Vivix homepage, we can create custom reports or view previously created reports. Click on the new button under custom reporting. Let's build our report. Different users build reports in slightly different ways. Here I will be explaining how I've built custom reports, but if you are advised to build it differently, that is of course fine too. Setting aside the layout of the report for now, first we will select our media channels and market. The media market you select will dictate which media you can choose. If you pick only the national market, Total US, you won't be able to pick local media, like outdoor or local magazines. You can, however, select both national and several local media markets if you want to look at all possible media channels. For this demo, I'm going to pick Total US as my market. Then for media, I'll pick several national media channels, network TV, cable TV, magazines, business to business magazines, national newspapers, network radio, and internet display. Next, we'll select the tab that says brand slash categories. Here, you'll have a great deal of freedom to select a number of products, brands, companies, categories, and so on that will show up in your custom report. For the sake of simplicity, I'll be looking at just brands in this video. For example, if I'm interested in pizza restaurants, I can refine my search for brands and search for a big name like Pizza Hut. This search gives us four results, all of which Pizza Hut is in the name. To differentiate between them, I can click this information icon, which will display the brand's parent company, advertiser, products, and competitors. I'm really only interested in the Pizza Hut brand itself, so I'm going to click on it and hit Add. If we want a list of competing brands, there are a couple of things we can do. I can go ahead and search under Brands for Domino's and add that to the report. We can also see what other brands are in the same category. We still have Domino's selected in the top box, and from here, I'm going to use the Drill feature. Drill lets you move between the different categories and products from the search drop-down menu based on the item you have selected. From here, I'm going to select Categories. Vivex has three categories for Domino's. The one I'm most interested in is pizza restaurants and delivery services. To see what other brands are in this category, I can select it and drill back down to Brands. After drilling back to Brands, I can see there are 220 brands in this same category. This way, you could potentially find other brands that you would want to include in the same report. I'm not going to include all 220 brands in this report, but I will select a few to add. After choosing the brands, we'll select our time periods. With calendar selected, we could specify either a fixed time period such as the first quarter of 2023, or a more fluid time period like the last six months. I'm going to select the year 2022 as my specified time period. Now let's return to the layout. We need to decide how the advertising data will be sorted and how it will be measured. I want to see how much money each brand spent on advertising their various products, so I'll select Brand and Product. The order of this sorts list is important, so I will put Brand on top so that all of the products are nested under their designated brand. For measures, I want to see how many dollars were spent, so I'm only selecting dollars. This next part is very important. Under column slash type, I need to select media instead of time period. This will ensure that I am seeing how advertising expenditures were divided amongst the media types we previously selected, like network TV and internet display. The report that we will ultimately see will have the brands and products of pizza restaurants as the rows and the different media formats as the columns. Lastly, there is the report summary. Here you can look over the report to make sure it has everything you intended to select. You will need to enter a report name. While the report access is set to private, 
anyone from the University of Alabama who accesses this database will be able to see the report. Now let's run the report. At this point, if you've selected any media that will not work with the media market or markets you've selected, the database will give you an error. Go back and remove the media that's causing the error and try again. Once you run the report, you'll be taken to the report results list, and you could see the report with the date and time it was submitted. After waiting a minute or so, hit refresh on the page, and it will show that the report is completed. To look at the report, click the drop-down menu under Actions and select View PDF. Here we have the advertising expenditures by product from the brands we selected. When looking at the report, it's important to note that the expenditures are listed in thousands of dollars. If we want just the brands without the products, we can go back and edit the report under Report Specs List and click the drop-down menu under Actions. From there, we'll select Edit and make the changes we need before running it again. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. As always, if you have any questions, get in touch by going to ask.lib.ua.edu to ask a librarian.